For a long time, physicists have kept their distance from string theory because it couldn't be experimentally tested and didn't produce observable results. But recent observations of dark energy made by DESI have unexpectedly yielded results that align with string theory. It's possible that theory of everything 2.0 is now loading. Although this new paper is still a preprint, meaning it hasn't yet been peer-reviewed, it has generated so much attention that we're sharing it before the formal journal process is complete. In fact, the paper has already been downloaded over 10,000 times, making it one of the most viewed preprints of all time. You might be wondering, why haven't we seen any evidence for string theory until now? There are two main reasons. First, the effects of string theory only emerge at incredibly small scales, particularly at the Planck length. Until now, observing physical processes at that scale has been technologically impossible. Second, there's been a revolution in our observational technology. A clear example of this is the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, or DESI for short. DESI is a massive project designed to map the universe's expansion history over the past 11 billion years by scanning more than 35 million galaxies. It was specifically built to help us understand both the expansion rate of the universe and the nature of dark energy. This project, which cost a total of $75 million, was largely funded by the U.S. Department of Energy. As you can imagine, in today's political climate, under the new Trump administration, it would seem highly unlikely for a scientific project of this scale to receive such a large budget. So, what exactly does this instrument do? To put it simply, it performs extremely detailed spectroscopic analyses. By analyzing the light from celestial objects located millions of light years away, it can determine how intense that light is, what elements it originates from, and even when that light was emitted. Even more impressively, DESI can do this for 5,000 different celestial objects simultaneously in a single exposure. This incredible sensitivity allows scientists to detect even the smallest variations in the expansion of the universe, which makes the data suitable even for testing string theory. On March 26th, a preprint titled Dynamical Dark Energy, Dual Space Time, and DESI was released. This paper relied on DESI's measurements, specifically the data showing how dark energy changes over time. When researchers plugged these values into string theory equations, they were amazed to find that the results matched the observations surprisingly well. To understand what this means and why it matters so much, let's first take a quick look at what dark energy actually is, this mysterious force said to make up about 68% of the universe. Dark energy is a strange force that causes the universe to expand faster and faster every second. We can't see or measure it directly, which is why scientists call it dark. It doesn't interact with light in any way. We only know it's there because of its effects, like how galaxies are rapidly moving away from one another. In other words, something is out there, but we have no idea what it is. We can only trace its footprint. To better grasp this, imagine a balloon. Now, imagine that no one is blowing air into it, yet somehow the balloon is still inflating on its own. After a while, not only does it keep expanding, but it starts to inflate faster and faster on its own. That's what dark energy does. It behaves like a bizarre, invisible force that causes the universe to expand just like that ever-growing balloon. At its core, we still don't know what the source of dark energy is or what its true nature might be. But it remains the strongest candidate we have to explain the accelerating expansion of the universe. This mysterious component is considered a key element of modern cosmology, our framework for explaining how the universe formed, expanded, and evolved from the Big Bang to the present day. This framework is known as the Lambda CDM model. Lambda CDM is currently the most widely accepted cosmological model we use to understand the universe. In this model, the Greek letter Lambda represents dark energy, the force believed to be driving the universe's accelerated expansion. And here's the important part. In Lambda CDM, Lambda is assumed to be constant, meaning the amount or density of dark energy does not change over time. However, if one day we obtain reliable observational evidence that dark energy does change over time, it wouldn't just reshape our understanding of dark energy, it would fundamentally challenge our entire model of the universe from the Big Bang to today. And this wouldn't only affect cosmology. It would also have profound implications for particle physics. 
That's because, according to the standard model of particle physics, if dark energy is purely due to vacuum energy, then its density must remain constant over time. So, any result that contradicts this would carry massive implications, potentially shaking the very foundations of modern physics. To put it simply, if dark energy is truly constant, then the expansion rate of the universe should increase at the same percentage across every epoch of cosmic time. What does that mean? Let's try to break it down with a rough analogy. Imagine that as the universe aged from 5 billion to 6 billion years, the expansion rate increased from 100x to 120x, that's a 20% increase. Then, as it aged from 6 to 7 billion years, if dark energy density were truly constant, the expansion rate should again increase by another 20%, meaning it would go from 120x to 144x. That kind of uniform percentage increase is what we'd expect if dark energy doesn't change over time. So what does string theory say about all this? According to string theory, the smallest building blocks of the universe aren't fixed point-like particles, but rather vibrating, incredibly tiny filaments of energy called strings. These strings vibrate in different ways, and each vibration gives rise to a different particle, such as an electron or a quark. But here's the more fascinating part. String theory also says that space-time itself is not flat at the smallest scales. Instead, it's wavy, fluctuating, and dynamic. Because of this, dark energy isn't constant, as classical models suggest. It behaves more like a wave in water, spreading out and weakening over time. At the beginning, it's strong, but as the universe expands, its influence gradually fades. So, in essence, string theory argues that the acceleration of the universe's expansion is not constant. It's actually decreasing. Let's go back to our earlier example. If the expansion rate increased from 100x to 120x, a 20% rise, then under a constant dark energy model, the next step would be another 20% increase, reaching 144x. But according to string theory, that wouldn't happen. Instead, the next increase might only be 15%, bringing the rate to around 138x, a smaller acceleration. The graph you see on the screen summarizes this conflict clearly, showing how these two theories differ across the history of the universe, from the earliest times to today. The Lambda CDM model, which is the widely accepted framework in cosmology, assumes that dark energy is constant. String theory, on the other hand, says the opposite, dark energy is not constant. It decreases over time. Until now, string theorists have expressed this idea, but they've always faced the same wall. If you don't have observational evidence, it's just a hypothesis. In the eyes of the scientific community, this was a compelling idea, but one they would only take seriously with real data. Now, that data may have finally arrived. The measurements provided by DESI are sending strong signals that dark energy might indeed be decreasing over time. And that means for the first time, string theory may have found observational support. These findings are largely based on supernovae are used as standard candles to measure the expansion rate of the universe. Just like you can estimate the distance of a light bulb by how bright it appears, if you know how powerful the bulb actually is, astronomers can estimate cosmic distances using these supernovae since their true brightness is known. Imagine you're standing at the entrance of a long tunnel. Inside the tunnel, identical light bulbs are placed at equal intervals and turned on. The closer bulbs appear brighter and their light reaches you sooner. The ones farther away appear dimmer, and their light arrives later. But since you know the actual brightness of each bulb, you can figure out how far away they are and how long their light took to reach you. Astronomers apply the same logic. By comparing the differences in brightness and arrival time of supernova light, they can determine how the expansion rate of the universe has changed over time. Let's say a type 1, a supernova with brightness p, exploded at time t plus 1 and its light took X amount of time to reach us. If both the observation and the theoretical model agree that the travel time is X, we accept that the expansion behavior matches expectations. But here's the key. This travel time, X, doesn't just reflect the distance the light traveled. It also reflects how much the universe expanded during that time. So the light didn't move across a fixed distance. It traveled a path that stretched over time as the universe expanded. Imagine another type, one, a supernova with the same brightness, but this one exploded at an earlier time t. Let's also assume the lambda CDM model is correct. 
and we expect that the light from this older supernova should take exactly 2x time to reach us, based on the assumption of a constant expansion acceleration. But here's the surprising part. Researchers observed that the light didn't take 2x to reach us. Instead, it arrived in 2x minus 1 units of time. What does that mean? It means that the universe, at time t, was expanding at a faster rate of acceleration than it is today. In other words, the expansion is still happening, but the rate of acceleration is slowing down. Just like inflation in economics, prices are still going up, but the rate of increase is slowing. It's the same idea. The expansion continues, but the speed of that acceleration is declining. In other words, the acceleration of a universe's expansion seems to be slowing down over time. This finding raises the possibility that dark energy, thought to be responsible for this acceleration, might not be constant, but instead gradually changing and decreasing in density. And that's exactly where the result clashes with the Lambda CDM model, the classical cosmological framework, which assumes a constant dark energy density. So, if you're wondering which theory this result aligns with, the answer is string theory. As we explained at the beginning of the video, String theory proposes that the structure of space-time isn't fixed. It is itself subject to evolution. For that reason, dark energy cannot remain constant. As the universe grows, it should behave like a wave, spreading out and weakening. In this recent study, calculations based on string theory were compared with DESI's observational data, and the results were found to support this prediction. And this isn't just our interpretation. One of the paper's co-authors, Professor Michael Kavik from SUNY Old Westbury, summarized the situation like this. From the perspective of our study, the DESI result could be considered the first observational evidence supporting string theory, and perhaps even the first observable consequences of string theory and quantum gravity. In fact, this study doesn't just address dark energy. It also strikes at the heart of the grand unresolved question in physics, what's often referred to as the theory of everything. We're facing an extraordinary moment, a direct connection between the smallest building blocks of physics and the largest scale behavior of the universe has never been this clear. The idea that quantum vibrations at the Planck scale could determine the expansion fate of a universe billions of light years wide might mark the very moment string theory has long been leading us toward. So, when will we know if string theory is truly the right path? For now, DESI is just the beginning. But very soon, the Vera Rubin Observatory and the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will come online. These two groundbreaking missions will allow scientists to observe dark energy with a level of precision never before possible. If their data confirms what string theory predicts, that dark energy decreases over time, then string theory won't just be accepted. It could usher in a fundamental paradigm shift in the world of physics. On the other hand, if these observations contradict string theory, then the path forward for string theory will have to be reconsidered. Note, the Vera Rubin Observatory is expected to see its first light in August 2025. This means the next year will be one of the most critical periods for the fate of string theory. Of course, the scientific community is divided. Some say, this is sufficient evidence already. While others are more cautious, it's promising, but we need to wait for more data. Let's see what future observations will reveal. Until next time, if you want to follow new papers and discoveries from a neutral perspective, be sure to subscribe and stay with us.